I want you to look at these shocking photos. This is a 35-year-old Kenyan man, really difficult to look at. Mike is his name. For years, he lived with this massive tumor growing on his face. It became so large, his nose, nose and mouth, as you can see, were pushed to one side. He went blind in one eye. So intimidated by the size of that growth, local doctors didn't know what to do, so they had given up on Mike. The tumor, of course, got worse and worse, began, began to threaten his life until it is a Spanish surgeon named Dr. Pedro Cavadas saw Mike's story. The doctor flew him to Spain. The doctor over several years did four operations, all free of charge, transforming Mike's face. You saw that before and after now. They had to remove his left eye. But this is such a wonderful story because Mike's a taxi driver in Kenya. He also lost both of his legs in a childhood accident. This is a guy who's been through so much, and this random surgeon in Spain takes Mike under his wing and saves his life. That is an awesome story. It really is an awesome I story. Agree. Kudos to you, Dr. Kavai. Yeah, this, this condition, fibrous dysplasia, we, what, it actually started from the mandible. It's, it's a growth in the bone, but spread to other parts of his face that literally took over his whole face seen more in third world countries, I think probably related to uh, prenatal care. Yeah. You see more of this, but that's some operation. And to, benign uh, in the sense that it wasn't cancers, but not right. benign at all no, because it, locally it invaded invasive local structures. Destructive, yeah. And I think this is great because, I mean, this is what being a doctor is all about, right? There was a doctor in another country who saw this and really took his oath seriously. In his, in his wheelhouse, he said, yes. I can I Helpless can do this. Man. So I, I do think it was appropriate for doctors who did not feel as though they could help him to say, you know what, I don't think I can do this safely. But when the doctor that could do it saw it, I mean, he was willing to go over and beyond. And in fact, the doctor who performed the surgery promised that if he could not fix this, he would take care of Mike's family. How awesome is well, that? And, that's and the pair, part of the story. The pair became so close. Mike had a newborn daughter and he named it after Dr. Kavada's uh, late mother, Carmen. What a cool story.